everybody, it is your girl, Lady T, and I am back. You are tuning into Lady T, Let's Talk About It, a mini segment. And I can't start or continue a venture without my friend. Um, you guys get to see him in front of the camera like once a quarter. I think it's about once a quarter. <laughs> it, it has been about <laughs> once a quarter since we've last seen you. But this guy is usually behind the scenes, behind the camera, doing his thing. You hear me? Um, and that starts off what this topic is about today. And that is fourth quarter in entrepreneurship, in business. Um, it's, it's the fourth quarter. It is the end. So, introduce yourself to the people. So, my name is Justin. I am the founder and leader of the JR Group, which is a creative logistics agency uh, where we do all sorts of project management, event management, event production, and just a curator of events and experiences. So, that's me and a nutshell. I mean, that's a big nutshell. Like, that's super cool. <laughs> how, has, how has creating your business how has that been for you it has sucked <laughs> it's been great I mean, that's, that's the honest it's truth. been great but it has been really hard uh i started in 2017 as jr consulting right and i started that because i knew that the job that i was doing wasn't the job i wanted to do forever but i knew i had a lot of skills Listen, but I, wasn't wait. The... <laughs> Go I gotta, Go I gotta interrupt you this time because I need, I need the people to get the full scope yes. of JR Consulting. What all <laughs> did JR Consulting do when anything, you first started? So here's the thing, anything to make money. That was literally it. So I took every little skill that I had, so from cutting grass. Yes. To doing payroll administration, which does not go together, to the project management and the event management of today. But also and of course, I do creations. Yes, the client management as well. It was just some of everything. So you had like a lot of you know professional services and whatnot, and then you had a lot of like contract services too. So anything to make a dollar. It Listen, was, it, was it was the cut in the grass for me. <laughs> like so, from that beginning, mm. so JR Consulting that just was everything to make money. What changed and shift? that got you to the JR group where I definitely think it's a lot more cohesive with what you're doing. Hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for me, it really was 2020. I think it was having a time where I wasn't as busy to sit back and think, one, is this sustainable? Like, can yeah. you really be cutting grass for the rest of your life? With allergies. With allergies <laughs> and asthma. <laughs> can you really do that? Yeah. Um, do you want to tutor all the time? Do you want to do payroll and recruiting too? Like, what is it that you want to do? So 2020 really gave me the time to kind of like slow down and think about what am I passionate about in yeah. the business? And like, what would I do if there wasn't money associated with it? And that was the okay. thing that I decided that was really... The client management, the project management, and the event management. It was not really the grass cutting because I wouldn't do that for free. <laughs> um, yeah. It wasn't really the tutoring. I still do that a little bit, but that's more like a soft skill, like okay. hush hush, I can do it, <laughs> but don't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> type of thing. So, yeah. So, it was just about focus and like really realizing what I wanted to do. Yes, focusing and purpose. I think focus mm -hmm. and purpose go hand in hand together and I think as entrepreneurs and you know people who have products skills talents you gotta stay focused mm -hmm. on that purpose or else you go so far right right <laughs> so far away from that initial um that initial dream right and I can speak for myself where I tell people all the time with my story like I never initially wanted a business. Right. Like, I just knew I wanted to be in front of the camera, in front of, or in front of the camera, or on a radio station, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to be Lady T. Like, that was it. But then I was like, well, I got to produce my own stuff. I got to do this. Oh, this person wants me to do it. And then you sit and think, and you're like, dang, I'm so far from what I initially mm -hmm. dreamt of doing, wanted to do, that... You're not doing any of it. Right. Like, the purpose purpose is big. So, 
with us being in the fourth quarter, we got to think about what did this year entail? Like 2020, 2020 was a year. Like that was yes. a year on its own. <laughs> And it, it blurs the whole timeline. Right. Like, right. we're ending 2021, which is kind of the second half to the pandemic. I won't say we're out of it, but definitely a little lighter where mm-hmm. you have events coming up and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Some artists are back out and doing some things. Um, Lady 2, let's talk about it, could have more than one or two people. Mm-hmm. So, friend, let's reflect on our year. What what you got going on? What did what did you do this year? Man, this year was a whirlwind. Honestly, I okay. think it was after relaunching and re, well, rebranding in the end of twenty twenty around my birthday. Um, I didn't really, like really get any new business that year, so it was kind of like a little yeah. disheartening. It was like okay, you did this whole rebrand, relaunch, but like now you're focused. But no one seems to want anything. Listen. So coming into 2021, I will admit I was discouraged. I knew it was still what I needed to do, but I wasn't sure how I was going to make it happen. Um, and I can honestly say I didn't make it happen. Things came to me uh, this year. So I did Listen, something. Listen, that's that favor. Right. <laughs> favor ain't fair, but it's looking good on you. All that church service. <laughs> you know. You're giving um, a good word. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, so I helped a someone who's very dear to me uh, produce her launch for her cookbook in the beginning of the year. Um, wait, wait, go ahead. I just feel like go ahead and name drop that one. Okay, that is the unmeasured love. And she doesn't like to be called a chef, but she is a chef. She is a cook extraordinaire. Actually, no, she's an explorer of a kitchen. Uh huh. Uh huh. And she will help you explore your kitchen as well. So. She is someone, I think, just thinking about my purpose has always been, my purpose is to help other people bring out their purpose and do what they're doing. And so she is someone who has always cooked, who always wants to help people cook mm-hmm. as well. And she was one that we were like, well, why don't you have a cookbook or something out or something? And she was like, I don't know. So like we pushed her and not only did she do the cookbook, but she also did the live launch, which you know her, that's a lot for her. <laughs> she does not like to be in front of the camera, so. But that was something awesome that both of us got to be. Yeah. Both of us got to be with. Yes. You know what I mean? We got to be involved with. And crazy backstory to that. She, this, this is the unmeasured explorer. <laughs> uh, unmeasured explorer. Like unmeasured that. love explorer. Um, she actually gifted us. The cookbook for her birthday. For her birthday. That's the kind of person she is. Right. So on her birthday, she was like, I got a surprise for y'all, but it's a surprise for us. And she had the um, the mock version mm-hmm. of the cookbook. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at this. It's happening. And you got to manage it. I got to do that live launch and stuff like that. And the so, photography. And the photography and mm-hmm. social media. And, and her makeup. That too. Since you do it all. You know, idea <laughs> creations. Like, that's what we do. <laughs> but idea creations, the JR group, like, we would just, okay, so what else have you done? So I think after that, that was the big thing in the beginning. Um, I know I'm forgetting stuff because that's just who I am. Like, I know one thing I have to focus on is like really reflecting. And I feel like I should. We don't get to that. We right. don't get to that. We got to talk about I that. I need like a calendar. Actually, I need to go back to my emails to see what happened. But somewhere. She sends an email. Oh, I began working with. Um, well, I guess. Yeah, I began to work with Leah Rising, another um, communications that organization. Was, yeah. Um, it's around and they year. launched in the end of 2020, mm-hmm. but really got busy. In 2021, so yeah. I think that was like an ongoing project. So that's why I kind of slipped my mind a little bit. Um, but I have worked with this guy Ezekiel Ozama for a while, Fire. and he is a poet. And they did these this tour every year. But of course, we're still in the pandemic, right? So I'm still working with him. Uh, the year before in 2020, I helped him do his online course. So we did. So I managed and created the online course, the registrants, uh, which was a lot <laughs> to do. Yeah. Um, but this year he said he wanted to gather, so he and his wife decided they wanted to do a relationship event, which was really cool, and it was in person, so it was my first time being flown out for a business trip. Um, and How did that feel? Like, that's, I feel like, 
we joke about getting flued out and all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. But in reality, that's another level to the business. That's another level to being a a business owner, entrepreneur is mm-hmm. like when somebody sees that value in you, mm-hmm. that they want you there. They're going to get you there. Yeah. How is getting to that new level? How was that? How did that feel? It felt surreal because for the past maybe three years of maybe working with him, um, it's all been virtual. So he's in Atlanta and then I'm in Virginia. So everything I've done has always been orchestrated through other people or it's been fully remote. But this was the first time that he was like, yo, no, I need you here. And I was like, Hello. I was like, well, no, you, you're good. Like, you don't really need me. And that's like, you know, for me, a confidence thing too. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, I'm not that important. But then when he got me there, <clears throat> I realized, one, how instrumental I could be. And then he also realized, I'm never doing another one of these things without you <laughs> being here. And he that's told awesome. me, and I think the most notable thing I learned from him is he was like, you need to elevate your price. He's like, because what you did for this weekend was way more than what we asked you. So I think it was an amazing experience to, to be affirmed by someone you're giving service to. Right. Because a lot of times we get praise from people who we know and we love. And I know I'm not good at receiving it because I'm just like, whatever, you're supposed to say that because right. you're my friend or whatever. But to hear the person actually receiving the service from you say, this was top notch. You need to do more. I was like, hello. Oh. Check his Yelp reviews. <laughs> He's the bomb. But you said something that I think is big for all of us. Not a generational thing, but big for all entrepreneurs is that confidence piece. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you start your business because you have a dream. You start your business because you're good at something. But having that confidence to even get through a pandemic when... There are other, especially in the social media realm, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We see social media, there are so many people doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. How, like, that confidence piece is big. Right. To keep, to kind of stay in your lane, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And to do your thing. Do you think you've elevated in that arena? Not enough, but yes. Okay. I think I've gotten to the point where I'm able to market myself sometimes. Um, not enough, <laughs> not as much as I should, but there was a time where you would have to literally almost pull the hair out of my head to get me to post anything about my business. And I think now it's more so, what do I want to post? When am I going to post it? Versus like, I'm just never going to do it. Right. Um, so I think that's where I've grown. I do, so I definitely still lack some confidence. But we're gonna work on that. I mean, that's I mean that's a thing though, and I know that confidence as an entrepreneur can show up in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. Like for me, I think it's a matter of that elevator pitch, right? Yeah. So it's like, all right, what am I most confident in to tell somebody that they can then see to then want to get your services and stuff like that? And I know, mm-hmm. um, you know, the people around me—they're always telling me, oh. The- Lady T, this stuff is subjective. Like, you got to be okay with no's and you got to be okay Mm -hmm. if somebody doesn't like you or you got to be okay if somebody doesn't want to use you. Like, well, all of that kind of stuff, I think, plays a part in that confidence piece. Yeah. Because you and I both are service-based, service-based businesses. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you said something big and that was the, I'm going to work on it. And I think being an entrepreneur, you're always, you're working on yourself, you're working on your business, you're working on your products, and then you're working on your marketing. Like, yep. <laughs> it's you. It's <laughs> and I think you. <laughs> that's one thing that people don't talk about is, it's you. And if you don't want, you don't have space to not want to. Right. right. Like, if I don't want to, trust and believe, I'm getting calls from the JR group, <laughs> or he's coming over. Uh, to to watch me do whatever it is that I didn't want to do, and it's it's big like it's it's you mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's always you. if it's not you then who uh, whoever it is find them <laughs> let it be somebody who who gotta exist somewhere listen somebody asked, yeah somebody asked me know. the question <laughs> and they were like well who could you get to do this who. Like who is the question? Mm-hmm. You know, like okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna 
edit it. I'm gonna do all the social media. Like, if not me, then who? You know? And mm -hmm. I think that's big in business and entrepreneurship. Right. But now we have to reflect, um, reflect on our year. Um, so what are some, let's get into what are some lessons. Lessons and then also some positives that have happened with both of us this year. Okay, I would say lesson number one, every opportunity is not a good opportunity. Um, we did a hand clap yeah. for that. <laughs> Uh, I learned that, oh, I think actually, no, here's the most important lesson that I've learned this year and I'm preparing something to go out about it. I don't know what's going to happen, but it'll happen eventually. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> um, but just because you can does not mean you should. You should only do the things that you're graced to do. And that was something that I learned this year the hard way, <laughs> um, twice actually. One was not as major. But another one was quite major. Um, so yeah, I learned quickly. Well, no, it wasn't quick. <laughs> I learned throughout this year that you should only do the things that you're graced to do. Um, because even if it's hard, but you're supposed to do it, like God will make a way for you to do it. You'll be able to push yourself through it as well. Um, but if it's something that you can just kind of do, um, what you shouldn't do, like it's gonna be super hard. And so for me, I learned that that's where like budgeting and finance comes in because I can do my own budget, I can do my own finances, and that's totally fine. But when asked to do that for somebody else, it is something that causes me stress for their project. Because if I'm sitting here thinking, you don't have this money, where's it supposed to come in? But you, like, I know you have the end goal from it. So, how is that going to happen? And that was something for me that really wrecked me. Like, it, I allowed anxiety to, like, almost destroy me. Um, she can attest to that. <laughs> the, the top of the summer was not good for me. Uh, it was just, I was just drained, um, stressed all the time, yeah. tired, just irritable, grumpy, just more sarcastic than usual. Like, it just, it, it wasn't just wasn't, good. It wasn't good space. Right. So, you know, with that specific lesson that you learned and that space that you were in, mm -hmm. how do you reset? Because I think as an entrepreneur, um, even as a person, um, how do you reset from either being knocked down, uh, a hard lesson that you had to learn, whatever? How do you reset? I think for me, the... The timing was actually good. <laughs> it happened right before your birthday trip. So it was a nice, mm -hmm. like... Because you wasn't taking that energy <laughs> where we was going. It couldn't come. Right. It was too much bad. She made that very clear. She was like... She and then the but that was from was. a friend perspective. Because right. I think you and I get to support each other as, you know, business owners and stuff like that. But then sometimes we do... You do it, I feel like, more often than I have to do it. But you got to take off that business hat and put on that front hat mm -hmm. and, and let it be known. It can't come. Right. Whatever this is. And I think... And it didn't need to go. But I think I gave <laughs> that, that advice to you that hard because I knew you're the type of person, there's a problem, there is going to be a solution. You're going to make it get there. Mm -hmm. So I had to let you know... We got only so many bags we can check on Southwest. Right. That baggage was going to be paid for. We can't... And it was more than the 40 pounds that was allotted. You hear me? Because <laughs> it was heavy. So I think for me, what I learned is that if I need to reset, then taking time away is actually something that I need to do. Um, and it's not always going to be that you can take a nice trip to Mexico. Um, it just might be taking a weekend off. It might just be um, taking a nice walk type of thing. And that's what I've learned... Um, throughout this year because I haven't had anything quite as serious because I think I've been taking more rest since then. That's so good. instead of letting it Because you up, go. Right. Like you be on <laughs> go. Right. So that's good. Resting. So on the reflection side, what is the positive that we've gotten from this year? That I really can do a lot. You're one of the best multitaskers I know. Like you and you hear that, right? Like, so this is a me problem. We're talking. 
talk about me, right? I'll be, listen, transparent. Listen, Lady T, let's talk right, about I, it. I, I Welcome. Can't, I can't cross my lips. <laughs> Everybody in it. Listen. You I see was I, like, oh, I should match you. Oh, we're going to just do a, a little one. No, okay, great. Listen, uh, you see, I put my leg back down. You know I'm a little handicapped right this oh, second. Yeah. So, it's okay. Neither one of us can cross our legs. <laughs> but, you know, welcome to my couch. Oh, right, right. Welcome great. to my couch. Let's talk about your review issues. So, I think for me, it's go- and this goes back to the confidence thing, um, just not, like, not seeing myself the way other people see me and seeing the abilities that I have um, and just always feeling like people are blowing smoke, like type of thing. That's just something that if I feel like you're close to me, like I listen to what you're saying and I hear you saying like, oh, you're good, you're good. That. I'm like, take it with a grain of salt because it's like, man, you like me. So you're going to say that. But I think really realizing this year in different situations, working with new clients, because I've, I think before all my clients are people I've known previously. And then this year was the first year that I really worked with external clients to You hear me. Like, oh. The raw story is beautiful. <laughs> but that's your story to tell. We ain't got to do it. But the raw story is nice. It's nice. It's, it's fun. <laughs> I do. I enjoy it. I enjoy the people I Yay! work with. So I think that that has been something that has gotten me like, okay, they're asking you to do more. People only ask you to do more if what the first thing you did was good. Right. Or, or it's better than good. It was great. So they're like, all right, let me see if you can handle this part of it too. So um, just learning, I learned this year to not doubt my potential. All okay. right. And to turn the potential into kinetic. That's the science of me. That's like making movies. Listen, you know, a lot of school. <laughs> so that is a good reflection. I think uh, for Lady T and Idea Creations, um, one of my biggest lessons I think that I I knew beforehand, I think it's something that I'm constantly working at, is the press. Mm-hmm. Like, the press of it all. And in that, if stuff doesn't look like you want it to look, because 2020, 2020 did not look like what I wanted it to look like. Like, the Zoom, tired. <laughs> the, yeah. the, like, people don't want to be on their devices all the time. So it was just like, yo, how are we going to do this? This doesn't look like I want it to look. So-and-so can't come. COVID and all that kind of stuff or I don't know because even outside of Lady 2 let's talk about it it was just <sighs> pressing mm-hmm. right and the, the press um, and then also the 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 discipline I gotta work on my discipline like if I got a full day alright get up early <laughs> do what you gotta do go to work because I still got full time we got full time jobs uh, so the, the <laughs> discipline um, and the press, I think those were my, my biggest lessons that I'm still working through. Like, God ain't through with me yet. Um, and I think the positive something that I have learned this year is even when you don't know people are watching, they're watching. That's so true. like, you know, just as you've talked about... Um, you know, people that you don't know giving you positive feedback and things to that nature. I've had people that I don't know um, that were able to speak life into me, Mm -hmm. which means they had to see some of the stuff that I was doing to then speak life into me. So um, I think one of the biggest things that I did that got surprising feedback for me was the Black Lives Matter video Mm -hmm. that I put out. Um, And with that getting over 15... I think that it was over 3,000. I definitely think it was over 3,000. But between that, the comments, there are people that say, hey, you did that video. And I was mm-hmm. like, wait a minute. I'm ready for it. <laughs> but that was cool to see. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think one of my other big projects that I did was the I Got a Music video with uh, 412 Movement. If you don't know them. Go follow them on Instagram. Best youth ministry in this side of the Mississippi. And I think we're partial because we're middle management. But it's still um, youth, youth ministry. Yes. But with that project, I was able to shed light in a different way mm-hmm. um, on the kids that were in it. And then also the past there and first lady. Yep. Like that shook some things. So that was fun to see. And I think in being an entrepreneur, you always have to 
grow and press yourself to grow your business. So absolutely, I think that was a great reflection. Yep. Fourth quarter. So we've been reflected. We, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that on there instead of reflecting. Um, so, with that fourth quarter piece, um, how do you wrap up the fourth quarter? Because I feel like it's November, right? Come December, we're going to be thinking about what new we want to do, that first of the year, you know, everything. So, how do you wrap up to then start? Yeah. So, I think my wrap up would be... My favorite event of the year because I'm a Christmas kid. A left for anyone who doesn't know. Um, this our season for it. My uh, wrap up will be Carols for a Cause. So it's my signature program that the JR group puts on. This will be the third year doing it, um, and it's basically a time to spread Christmas joy, but also tangible help for the community um, in just various ways. So I think it's interesting to me because like wrapping up for me looks like more work <laughs> and I need to work on that because the way that the calendar falls Christmas my favorite time of the year is the end and I yeah. want to do so much during that time but also like if I really want to be effective I've got to figure out how to like slow down so this year what I did was I decided to kind of scale it back a little bit okay. like let's still do the event and still figure out how to make a great impact but the actual production and the work that goes into it let's scale that back a little bit so yeah. that one, it'll just be really fun. Like, let's just make it fun, low stress. And then two, it can give me time to think forward because all that I've done this year, like, I don't want to do any less next year. Like, yeah. I'm looking towards goals to be like, all right, if you did this, you made this amount of money in this year, let's let's double it. Let's triple it. Let's Listen. work on it. So that we can, you know, say rest in peace to our full-time job one day soon. Absolutely. <laughs> Which is my goal. Um but yeah, wrapping up is just being intentional. So what I'm going to do is go through my... Wait, 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 wait. Say that one more time. Yeah, Start that sentence again. Yeah, you're going to have to help me. <laughs> what I'm going to do, oh, what which I'm gonna means do. you're making a declaration oh, on yes. Let's talk about it so we okay. can hold you accountable. Okay. What I'm going to do is go through my email, look at every event, project, whatever I manage this year, and actually write like what was good, the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, and figure out how I can make that better, but also find out what things for next year that I want to do on my own as well. So. Friend, that sounds exhausting. So what is your timeline <laughs> for that? Because that sounds like more work. So I'm actually going to do that. This is going to sound terrible. I'm going to do that during Thanksgiving break because, you know, like, I don't really care about Thanksgiving. But I have two days off. So it's okay. like in a really long weekend. So okay. I'm like, okay, cool. This is a good time to do it. Like kind of chill, chill by the fire, have some apple cider. It'll be great, you know, okay. put up a Christmas tree. So the thing about Lady Tales Talk About It when we're together, I know you, right? Mm -hmm. We're we're really close. It's a drawback. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> what fire are you about to sit by? The fire in my living room. I'm gonna turn it on. Justin. I have an electronic fireplace. I think she's judging me. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Because, listen, y'all don't know. We got these sweatshirts on, but it's cold in this piece. You don't like to be hot. Damn. That'd be fun. Okay. okay. I might just turn on the fireplace, but not the actual heat of it. Okay, just okay. So just... For the aesthetic. <laughs> so we need, at some point, I'm we need a picture. picture. Yes. We need a picture and post it and saying, I'm doing my wrap up. Yes. Okay? Because we need to know. We can link it back to ladies who let's talk about it. We mm -hmm. need to know that you're doing your wrap up. Okay. Okay. That is cool. And I will say, <laughs> as your friend and also uh, a host of Carol's for a Cause, that is one of my favorite things that you do. Like, and last year was, that was amazing. And I think from your friend's perspective, seeing your friend succeed is is a different level of excitement. But wait, but wait, but wait. Since we're talking about being on her couch and vulnerability, let's not talk about how it was succeeding. Let's talk about how it I was gonna fail. Listen, we, I mean, there was there because <laughs> people need to know that kind of stuff. They like, do. They all do. people see is the event stream. It was good. People they had fun. Do. How much money you raised? But like. Last year, actually, every year I've done it. So this is the third year. And even this year, there are some issues going on currently. But, you know, People I can make it to last that. year. I can definitely post oh, it yeah, this yeah. year. But last year... Um, Let them know, friends. Ooh. 
Um, I was stressed for you, to be honest. But as a friend, you got to kind of keep that. And you got to keep it together because <laughs> you didn't have it together. And she did it really well. She but you had it then two together, which means I knew you didn't have it together. To be honest, that I actually was okay. Like, I know why and people you know were confused. Because you got the peace of God. Mm-hmm. Like, Jay like Jesus. <laughs> That's just, that's just it. Normally, if I am two together, that is true. It's indicative that like I'm really not okay. But I can say during that time, I was actually okay. Listen, it was all about perspective. But the people around me were not okay. They were like, "Well, you can just cancel it. You can do this and do that." And I was like, "No, it'll still happen. It's fine." Listen, I wasn't to that level of stress, but I was just like, "Lord, no, your mom was." Yeah. <laughs> but it went. You pressed, yes. right? And that was the, the point of the press. Business can be ugly. Business sometimes will is be. ugly. Will. It just will be. Put the definitive has been. <laughs> and I think one thing about being an entrepreneur, having a business, having products, you see the people's right now, right? Mm-hmm. So you don't see whatever journey they have been on, how long it was, how short it was, how stressful it was, how much sacrifice it was. You don't see any of that. You mm-hmm. see there right now. And the aesthetics that they've created, the people that they've hired, the money they've dished out. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's, it's important to press because now you're into your third year yep. of Carol's for a Cause, um, giving things to those who are in need, fundraising. Like, that was awesome. That's fine. Like, That's all fine. of the, and I think, like I said, from the friend perspective, not Lady T who, you know, helped you host it. But from the friend's perspective, seeing your mind blown about how well it went with right. all that stuff going on beforehand, <laughs> that was so exciting. And yeah, what a time to be a business owner. <laughs> what a time to be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm excited about your wrap up. Uh, Lady T's wrap up, I don't know what that looks like. Because like I told you, I got to press. Your girl ain't been pressing the way she should be. But we're going to work on it. Balance, right? That balance. Um, my press tends, or no, my wrap up tends to look like an end of the year trip. Our trip doesn't look like what it's supposed to look like because, you know, have a hip situation. It's so, still going to be fun, people. <laughs> so we're, we're going to the mountains, but I can't snowboard because I can't do exercises. So I'm a little excited about that, but this will give me time to reflect and then take a look at what's to come. So I think that's important to keep your eyes focused on the positive to come as well. Yeah. Right? So this has been the fourth quarter. Lady T, let's talk about it. Oh, okay, I was make sure you had a four from this lady. <laughs> Look like a free friend. <laughs> but this is Lady T with Justin of the JR Group. And we have done fourth quarter talk. Um, one of my new Lady T, let's talk about it mini segments. Um if you want, not if you want, because you should, because we're bomb. Follow us on social media. You can follow me at Lady T with three underscores. Hopefully, our behind the scenes person put the right social media tag, but it's okay. We're what? here. What? <laughs> um, yeah, you're you're right. You're absolutely right. It is L A D Y Y T with three underscores, and you can follow Justin at underscore the Justin Reeves underscore. Yeah? Yep. Bet. I know yours, but I didn't get mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So, thank you guys for tuning in to this Lady T. Let's Talk About It mini segment. I'm your host, Lady T. We will see you in the first quarter. Maybe. We may see you another one in the fourth quarter. <laughs> we out.